But we are back on the Manby Fat Wales YouTube channel. I'm joined by uh, two pints of San Miguel and Aaron Smith. He of Tandoori Nights and formerly of, I can't remember the name, but the very famous Brush of Dope Munch. Brush of Dope Munch. Well, those were the days, right? Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. That's very similar to our team now. Obviously, we're teammates on the whites. Um, and not not the greatest to start. Not the greatest to start. No. Similarly to, we, to Brush of Dope Munch. Yeah, I, I think we've got it together a lot quicker than we did with the yellows, though. Mm. Because uh, Bruce, you don't mention, it took us three seasons to become a bit of a force, and I think Gavin Smith joining us was a a large factor in that as yeah. well. Because he he, I would say, single handedly transformed what we were capable of doing. He knows what he's doing, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, football talented, coach. talented lad, Gavin Smith. Well, thank you, thank you for joining me. It's obviously yeah. been um, many, many months for you. I think you were one of the early early season, season one. Season one. You play in the cup. Or season one, you did yeah. play in the cup. So one, of the, one of the early days. I, very, I joined with Andy. Andy Stanford. Very good. Oh, and Andy was early days too. Yeah, fantastic. So you've been with us ages. Um, never been in the couch. Never been on the couch. Oh. Didn't even know this room was here. <laughs> if you did know this room was here, you would have known that it was fucking the most hottest room. It was hotter than the sun in here. It's pretty warm. Now it's just smelly. It is very smelly. Isn't it? But you'll know. You know that you are sat in the seat that the famous Ian Holloway sat in. <laughs> so anyone that sits there is blessed. Let's start, Aaron. Don't give me the answer. I joined with Andy. Tell me what it was that brought you to to Manby Fat here. In so the I joined with Andy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no. Edit that out. <laughs> Jump cut. It was um, it was kind of led by Andy. I didn't even know Manby Fat was a thing or existed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I worked with Andy at the time. And he was talking about this new league that he was going to be joining. Um, and back then, Andy was, I mean, he's still a big lad, but he was a considerably larger lad back then. Andy's progress uh, is one of my favourite things. It's been play. remarkable. It's been remarkable. And, yeah, I liked football. I never had enough time to really play mm -hmm. um, with the job that we did. It was very, very tough to get Saturdays off, for example, to go and play on a Saturday league or a Sunday league or anything like that. So it was very much a case of, you know, one night a week, maybe two nights a week every now and again. It just seemed to work, and you know, I was carrying a bit more timber than I wanted to be carrying at that point. I think when I first, very, very first weighed in here, I was 101.7. Okay, 101.7. Um, and I weighed in tonight at just o just over 93. Okay, okay. When and you I get to that been, sort of area, I have right? been up and down. To be fair, I've I've not quite hit my 10 percent twice now, um, because I very nearly hit my 10 percent, which would have been at that point 90. Point two or something i think it was 9.3 close then um and i was 0 0.2 off of getting it and then i blew my knee out oh, so i then... left left for a little while when i came back i'd weighed back in at 99.8 i think it was which is the scale that i'm on now so mm -hmm. i've got to get down to 89 for my 10 percent 89 and i haven't been under 90 for a very long time oh that's a so that's a big old push do you think is that a goal for this season yeah yeah, yeah, ten percent is where I, if I can get to ten percent, I'd be very happy, very very happy. So we're we're aiming for ten percent, and where is like the is there a final goal for you? Is there an end point? Are you just no? I'm just enjoying the football, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, it, I think I'm one of the one of the opposite way around in that I'm not here entirely for the weight loss. The weight loss is a great side effect, and I think the accountability of being part of a team where if I don't lose weight or if I gain weight it costs them as a team I think that peer pressure for lack of a better way of putting mm -hmm. it is a great way of having some accountability sure. um, but for me I'm I'm here for the football more than the weight loss I would say I enjoy the game I I, I would say I'm a pretty decent player up front and in goal which are two, two completely opposing skills. Well, it's something I was going to talk about because Aaron's a very rare type of player where he doesn't mind going in goal but can also play up top and, and are, are very competent at both. Yeah. So where so obviously we're, we're on an ongoing journey. Speaking of football, it ties in quite nicely to something very exciting that's up coming up, which is the regional tournaments in, in Dorchester. Yeah. Um, you're obviously a part of a historic club, the the, the holders, if you will, of yeah. the um, the Manby Fat National Tournament Championship. Yeah. You're going to be one of 
representing one of four teams from Newport and the regional tournament. Huge Newport presence this year. Yeah. What's um? Because that, that's a whole day of football. Two whole days of football potentially if it all goes well. Tell me what are your thoughts in the lead up to in the lead up to that? I want to win. That's that's kind of the black and white of it. Is yeah. I, I want to win. I, I hate losing with a passion. Um, and yeah, I missed. Uh, obviously, we we went to last year's nationals and uh, one of the teams won it, which was phenomenal. I was meant to be in that team that won it, and it got to a point where because of the working arrangement with me and Andy, unfortunately it was only one of us that was able to go mm. on, on that time. And because Andy was the one who came first and uh, introduced me to it, I kind of yielded and said, Oh, so that was a time off with work yeah, thing rather than, work. oh wow. It was one of us. We both tried to get it off, but our oh, boss shit. Jason just around and said, no, 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 no. one of you, one of you. Oh. So um, no, I, yeah, I yielded and let Andy, let Andy go. And obviously he had a phenomenal time, which was, uh, which was great. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it paid off well. And him. you're both off together, our same team? We don't work together. Yeah, we are on the same team. You're on the same team this year. Um, so, yeah, luckily I don't have to ask <laughs> no. to, to get the time off. So that's great. And Sundays as well, so hopefully that's not so much of a, much of a strain. Yeah. But that's a lovely story that you've gone from having to yield to let Andy go to now going off together with him in the, in the same team. Yeah. Um, all the best to everybody that, that's going to be playing from Newport. You know, some, some, just under there are forty players are going to be representing our club, which is just under half of our of our club which as a great. whole. And it's sixteen teams in that regional. I believe so. I believe so. We'll get the details in the next few days. I think and we're um, representing a quarter so of the teams. teams. Yeah, it's very special. And obviously, our friends at Swansea and Cardiff will also be present. So it'll be a very Welsh day in in Dorchester. <laughs> Aaron, I want to finish, and I'll finish with everybody, by um, asking a question, which is, what advice would you give to someone that's thinking about joining Man vs. Fat? And I'm particularly excited for your answer, because I know it'll be slightly different to... It, it, it's going to be a more football-sided one, presumably. Um, yes and no. I I mean, the, the simple answer is do it. If, if you're considering it, if you can physically get here, whether that be here at Newport, obviously... We, we do want you here at Newport, but, but if you can get to any Mangy Fat location, you should definitely do it. It's it's a great way to keep fit. It's a great way to lose weight. And, you know, for me, that's that's a side effect. But actually, the football quality is generally pretty good. Um, you know, we play with a lot of remarkably talented people, actually. And Dave Scanlon, don't you? <coughs> and, uh, you yeah, know, we, we let Scan come along sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. too. But, it's uh, important to let everyone <laughs> Yeah, I, I would say absolutely do it, regardless of regardless of how heavy you are, regardless of how good you are at football. Come play, you know, it can get quite competitive equally. You know, when you have an off game, no one beats you up about it. It is, you know, we are here largely for the weight loss. But if you're in for the football, if you're in for the weight loss, come along. The package is, is fantastic. Whichever isn't it? way you want. And I think you, you, you know, you exemplify that really well, just, you know, being here for lots and overs of the package and... And it's been great to share a team with you this season. I'm really looking forward to the day in Dorchester and the rest of this season. Yeah. So thanks for joining me. No worries. Cheers, Cheers mate. Man.